We're in Dodge City at the Three Eyes Show, and uh, if you go to really to almost every farm show around the country, a familiar booth, and uh, a lot of folks stop by, and as you walk around, you see those sticks with the colors. And uh, to kind of explain some of that, but also kind of what uh, the important role they play in everyday life and, and in support and other things. We're going to talk about it with uh, Dwayne Reynolds. He's a farmer from Litchfield, Nebraska, with uh, the Fellowship of Christian Farmers. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, let's talk about you come from Nebraska all the way down to Dodge City. Yeah, I, I travel a long ways through this. It, it's, uh, I've been doing it for the last 12 years now. And uh, I've been having a ball. I work from Pierce, South Dakota to Oklahoma City, uh, from here, um, Litchfield, Nebraska, to Indianapolis, Indiana. So, uh, and this is, uh, this is volunteer. You do this uh, out of really the love of your heart. Yeah, I'm on the road uh, at least 115 days a year. And so it uh, gets a little tiresome, but it's, it's really rewarding. So as you get a chance to talk to folks, uh, what's the story or, or uh, what, what do you share with them? Okay, we, we have these sticks, and uh, on the stick we have the five beads, uh, which presents Let's get the. Get up there so people can see it. I'll get this one. There you go. The, the gold bead represents heaven. It says uh, someday we'll walk on streets of gold. And, but this one next one might keep us out of there. It's called sin. Uh, and the Word of God says all of sin comes short of the glory of God, so we got to get rid of that sin. There's only one way you can get rid of your sin, and that is to ask uh, the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive your sin. That's why he died on the cross. That's why he shed his blood. So when we say, forgive my sins, then his red blood will cover that black sin up, make us white as snow, and then we can go. That's just as simple as there is, but um, everyone has to do the same thing. A, a powerful testimony that uh, everybody can kind of want to have a walking stick, but that also is a reminder of, uh, of the road to be on. Amen. Yeah. And uh, I get to introduce about 2,000 people a year to the Lord, and which, what blows my mind that the creator of the universe would let me work for him. Uh, it's, it, it's a blast, and it's all really, really. Let's talk about uh, your experience. You've been doing it for several years. You know, agriculture, especially those on the farm and ranch, uh, there's a lot of ups and a lot of downs. And, and uh, we know the last couple of years has been pretty good time on, uh, in agriculture. But, um, you know, now maybe there's some doubt creeping in. But uh, uh, regardless, you're here at these shows to, to really show them and tell them the good news. Yeah, actually this started in 1985. Uh, during what they called the farm crisis, when many farmers was losing their farms, uh, even committing suicide, all things like that. And uh, so uh, they thought the best way they could help themselves was to help other people. And that's where it got to go on. And now uh, we go into disaster areas where floods, fires, and hurricanes mess things up, uh, working mostly all of the, across the United States. Uh, we're actually working in foreign countries like Russia, Romania, Albania, Jamaica, Haiti, uh, we just went down to trying to set up uh, people in New Zealand to do it. Uh, Canada has taken us over. They're doing a tremendous job in Canada. Well, all right. Well, uh, Dwayne, anything else uh, the folks need to know about the Fellowship of Christian Farmers or if they want to be involved, how they can do that? Um, only thing I'd say, we need help. Uh, it is, this is the easiest place to learn to witness or anything like that there is. Uh, Anyone that um, wants to come and help us, uh, we're sure welcome to do it. Um, and um, we got a website. I don't know how you want to put that on there or anything. And the P.O. Box number and everything like that on the. Uh, but that'll get a hold of you. But um, just come and help. You'll yep, be blessed. Sure. FCFI.org is the website. It's there on the screen as well. Well, Dwayne, before we let you go, we would love to ask folks, what's your favorite Bible verse? Or what, what, what one speaks to you the most? Um, Matthew 11, 12 is a, is a verse that I live by. It says, uh, since the days of John the Baptist, the, uh, the kingdom suffers violence, and the violent take the kingdom by force. That means we have to keep pressing in. We have to keep going. We can't sit down. Uh, in fact, Jesus said, go and do. He never did say, come and sit. So that's it. Uh, I actually live by another saying. Uh, it's a saying. Uh, a evangelist by the name of C.T. Studd said back in 1900, he said, most people want to live within sound of church or steeple bell. But as for me, let me live one yard from hell. 
That's what I want to do. That's why I want to snatch everyone off before they go over the cliff. And that's that's my philosophy. Well, Dwayne, again, thanks for your time. Thanks for coming to the Three Eyes Show. You bet. God bless you. Thanks. Bless Dwayne Reynolds, a farmer from Litchfield. We've been talking about the Fellowship of Christian Farmers. The Three Eyes Show in Dodge City for Ag View. I'm Ken Rogers.